guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. If I look all disheveled, you know I was painting without you. Bunch of fails. I tried to do a ribbon pour. I'll show you the canvas. I have the video. You guys let me know. Do you want to see like how to do a ribbon pour even though I didn't like my results? I don't know. I'm debating about whether or not to post it. So if you hear, if I do and you hear the same information twice, that'll be why. So, no show and tell, I did it at the end of the last video. Wanted to give a shout out to Joanne for supporting my channel. And um, a lovely lady named April uh, wrote to me asking if she could send me some paint. Um, and I'm like, sure. And she sent me a bunch of uh, Art Alchemy paints. Uh, about a month ago, I tested this. I see a lot of other artists using it now too. I feel like a trendsetter. Um, anyway, she uh, sent me some of these and some Deco Art Extreme Sheen for those um, cloud pours. And she has a little shop, so if you want to try out the Art Alchemy or the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, where's the little piece of paper? Hold on. She gave me a code to pass on to you guys. Um, the viewers, the code is Karen, K A R E N, 10. And the name of her shop is LadyAprilDesigns.com. Um, that's her store. I'll put the link in the description, which is that little arrow you click at the bottom of the picture screen um, when it's not full size. That has all the information and the timestamps and links and everything. Uh, so check out her shop. Save yourself a little money, and you can test out those paints. Let me get you down on the camera. All right, so this gray here, um, this is a 12 by 24. It's one of those master's touch cradle boards from Hobby Lobby. And if you're new to my channel, please know that I really do not like that product. They bow um, all the time on me. I just don't think they're good quality. You get what you pay for sometimes. I started to pour my puddle then realized I wanted to show you the canvas because what I had done, these marks and everything, that's left over... Um, from my scrape puddle pour. Um, this was spray painted um, with um, some sugar spray. This stuff is amazing, um, but it didn't work out for me and it's just not, they, it didn't feel like me. Like, that's not a Karen painting. That's how I felt about it. But if you want to see the video, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll post it anyway. So, I'm gonna cover up this. Pray that it doesn't, um, doesn't warp. And I'm just gonna do uh, a little flip cup with the Shelly Art pouring medium in some of my favorite colors. And then the next video, some folks have a actually asked for a bloom video based on the, the work they saw during my demo of the bright tone varnish. And I got more questions about the art than I did about the varnish, so. Um, happy to oblige. I was trying not to do bloom videos and painting and doing them off camera because I thought people were sick of them. Um, and maybe some are, but you know what? I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing because there's no pleasing everybody, right? Right. Okay. Oh, I didn't talk about the color. So my usual perennial favorite, uh, Cornacrino Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. These are all golden fluid acrylics today. Teal, Phthalo Blue, and Permanent Violet Dark that I didn't add as much, um, as many drops because I wanted it this lighter shade. So that kind of worked out. So that's the palette. And then for Cell Activator, I made up two big batches. Um, and we're gonna use the Amsterdam Titanium White here. And this is actually a PBO's version of Payne's Gray, which is really, really pretty. Really like that color a lot. So those are four to one ratio with Australian Floetrol. So that's cell activators. And we're just gonna, um, I'm gonna continue just to make a puddle. I'm not gonna cover the whole thing. Just so I have a place to dump my paint and help it slide around. So there's my house paint mixed with GAC 800 and get a cup and I'm going to do a little bit of both. I'm going to do a little bit of 
Payne's Gray Sew Activator at the bottom of this and the white. I'm gonna mix it up a bit like that. And then layer my colors. I definitely want my azo gold to hit that white, so I'm gonna start with that. Because that'll make a pretty shade of yellow. And then let's go teal. The purple. And the blue. And I know I keep telling you guys that my new website is coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm so close now. I spent um, I spent like a week uploading content. I'm going to do the white and the black both. So activator. And then I got all done and then I realized, you know, I really want to have some little video snippets of the art, you know, because sometimes if it has two-tone paint in it or color shift paint, you really can't see it in an image. So then I had to gather up like 50 pieces and take them outside and do like 10 second video snips, snippets. <laughs> and then load all of that. And once all that was done, I'm boring you with the details, I know. I sent it to my um, developer with like all the little things that I wanted changed. And she said she could work on it on Friday. And I'll tell you who the developer is once it's launched. And, um, I hope to get it up this weekend. I still haven't uploaded stuff that's on Etsy, so there should be a bunch of new stuff that you guys haven't seen yet, in theory. Except for, you know, if it's in a video um, clip. Uh, so, I'm gonna dive bomb this one in a little bit, just for the hell of it. Uh, yeah, so it, it really is getting quite close. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, that looks like probably not enough paint. But I'll make another cup, as I like to do, um, like a smaller 8-ounce cup after I flip this one. You ready for this? I feel like I need more white. There we go. Now that's a puddle. All right. Give that a second. There's an open, oh, is that pretty right there? Oh my gosh, I should take a picture of that with my, just that right there with the cup. Um, there's an open field, uh, maybe 50 yards from here, from my house. And uh, there's a gentleman, a professional violin player, who's given like a free concert. It's beautiful. I know you guys can't hear it because it's really faint, but man, it's sounding good. All right, we ready for this? Here we go. Yeah, uh, uh. Where do you think you're going? No, uh, oh gosh. Hold on. Forced to tilt right away on the long skinny canvas. Forced to go immediately because it was running off. I didn't even get to put the, like, the rest of the paint on it when it just decided to take off. Like my straight. I don't 
like you though, on Pico. A little weird spot. So busy staring at this upper part I forced myself to stop and look at the rest of this for a second <gasps> add that one to the blooper reel oh bummer 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 Double bummer. Yes. I went to move it out of the way and it slipped. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna lose that pretty lacing up there now. And one part didn't have any paint on it at all because I knocked it off. I'm probably going to end up turning another cup on this anyway. Now. Yeah, white, well, you gotta go off. Well, now I lost all my composition. Bear with me a second. I know I'm like holding it really close, aren't I? And there's a lump. This isn't, isn't my day. Between the three fails with the uh, trying to do the um, ribbons and now this <laughs> and I gotta get out whatever glump of thing that is right there I need like a little spoon to spoon it out what are you hi 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 I love the colors We're making another cup. Let me grab another cup. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna start with this straight pins gray at the bottom this time. And go purple. Teal. I'm a lot of teal left for some reason. And phthalo blue. It's another perfectly fine painting, albeit a bit boring. I want to put some uh, white cell activator again on my, because I love the shade of yellow it makes. So I'm going to put the white cell activator on top. And then let's make some light blue before it sinks. 
and disappears. And then the teal, no, purple, and then the teal. Then a little bit of purple left anyway. Like that. And then the black, so, or the, not black, sorry, the Pan's Gray Cell Activator. Maybe a little more white too. All right. Take two. Let's give that 30 seconds or so. I'm not really lipping, I'm just letting the drips do their thing that time. I'm staring, deciding which way I want to tilt. I think I'm going to go straight up. Oh no, you gotta come off. Wow. You gotta be smeared or something. There we go. Hmm, I kinda like that corner. I'm gonna let that corner live. I'm gonna let that corner live and come on down the other way. And let this come off the edge a little bit. Kind of like the bottom of this painting too. Let me take off this one part over here because I don't like it. Right, off you go. Save some of those orange cells as a focal point. I don't know. We're gonna stare at that orange for a second. This is gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna bring it all back this way. I'm gonna keep this, this can go off. I'm just going to go for it right to there, all the way, bring it back. Uh, 
I love the skinny lines with the white. That worked out really well. I'll show you this stuff here, where I just like let it drizzle. It's so funny how the uh, smallest little things make such a big impact. Um, I'm deciding, you know, my frame, I'm deciding if I like this or not. It kind of matches the top. This has some really pretty um, shading going on. So let me stare at the composition. And if I like having the focal point off center like that, I think I kind of do. I'm gonna grab a skewer for a second. And like you need to go off somewhere or fade away or come up here and join this, something. I'm, not, I'm debating whether like keep going down and let this stuff come off and then swing it back or just leave it be. I think I'm gonna go for it. Or at least take off this little little thing right here. I'm not sure you guys can see what little thing I'm talking about, but let's take that off first. Well, that was easy. It slid right off. Let's go back up the other way for a second. No, it's off balance now, so too much light down here. Change plans once again. Putting the weight of the paint in the middle so I can help it go down kind of straight and take off the bits that I want to come off. Now go completely in the opposite direction. After a while, I just kind of decided I didn't care about the shape of the cell, so it just gets some movement going because the colors are so pretty. So I'm so close. Like, I love this now, and I like this, and the top is fantastic. I got to be a little careful because it looks like it's kind of stretched on the bottom here a little bit. Um, This is like perfectly centered right here. Let me stare a minute more. Am I saying ta-da? saying to that 
I'm going to fix this corner. This corner looks dirty to me. It needs like some green or blue or something. I'm just going to let it pour out of the cup because if I try to like lift it up and do it, it'll make a big ribbon. It's still going to make a little bit of a ribbon, but maybe not so bad. And then just tilt this off a little bit. I just didn't like that, that one green color. That's better. Now let me look at it. I'm still not happy with the bottom. I don't know what my deal is. I love it from like here up. Let's temp fade a little bit, shall we? Bear with me, I am going to stretch this out all the way across. Almost where I want it to be. Almost, almost, go a little further, go a little further. And tilt it up this way. Get a lot of paint off the canvas. Maybe this one won't warp on me. Because it'll be awful to do <laughs> do all this and get a painting I really, really like. And then this stupid Master's Touch canvas. I'm almost there. There's this one part of blue I want to hit the edge. And it is there. Ah, I just totally changed the composition. Now I'm happy. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. I'm still not completely thrilled with this one bottom section, but I'll take it. I am not messing with that. Ta-da! That is cool. That is cool and dreamy looking. I totally changed the focal point. Remember I had that like cool line thing in the middle? And there it is now. It's on the very edge, that little X. But instead, this here that was way over here is now in the middle. And this is just gorgeous. So, that's where everyone's eye is going to go anyway. Not to my one little green strip that I'm unhappy with. Um, yeah, that's a keeper for me. Let me um, pop the camera off and get you guys done for a, a close-up. That one made me work for it. Okay, everybody, here's the close-up. It's the dreamy landscape. I kind of love it. I'm starting at the bottom here first, like that. Got some stripes, and then let me come up. Hi, right, that whole section there, right smack in the middle of the painting, is so, so beautiful. Really happy with that. Happy with the top, and the cloudscape, dreamscape, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this one. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, oops. There she be. Mm -hmm. Let me say goodbye. Hey guys, it's the next day. I somehow forgot to film a goodbye at the end. I got distracted because my husband came home. Um, but I can combine and say goodbye and show you the dried results of this one. Maybe it goes like this. So here it be, all nice and dry. There's the bottom or the top. I haven't decided. That middle section, just amazing. 
in the top or the bottom like this or like this I don't know let me know in the comments which orientation I'm leaning toward this as the orientation but I don't know let me know <laughs> that's it for me thanks for all the support please subscribe help me get to 30k creeping up there um, yeah I've been filming a lot so you'll have a another video in a day or two so take care and I'll see you then bye guys